this came from an insight that I had about Easy Stream. And by the way, do they have the Easy Stream materials? Uh, they should have been emailed, but if not, it will be a bunch, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of. Don't give me one, thank you. How many articles did we send? 18. Okay. 18. It will be an email with 18. 18. 18. And do I get a thank you? No. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is something I've been working on with Easy Strength. Okay, with Easy Strength. Easy Strength is a is a system I use where you lift weights probably five days a week, and you just you know you never fail. You just keep adding load, just keep showing up, and then pretty soon you break personal records, and you go like, why didn't I do it that way in the beginning? But this is a concept where um, if, if Mike Brown first started, he goes, is there a chance that you focus on, okay, I'm naturally, one, well, I was born to push. I think I told you this yesterday, I, I benched about 181 kilos as, a, as about 16, 17 years, right? I won this powerlifting, I, I've only deadlifted a competition one time. I waited till the last person finished, and I asked the head official, what's next? And I took my attempt and did the biggest deadlift of the day. How much training have I done for deadlift my whole life? None. I've never once trained for deadlift. I just so if you look at my easy strain protocols, I focus on the hinge and push. Why? Because <laughs> that's me. I like it. I like it. I, if if a young lady comes into my gym, you know, the first thing I'm gonna do is start putting weights over my head. Dude, I can push. I can push. Yeah, and then James will say, don't you need a pull? <laughs> My friend Pavel, when I told him about it, he said, that's ah, interesting. He goes, you know what? I think I'm a pull hinger. Uh, who had the uh, TSC shirt on? Yeah. So the TSC, deadlift, pull up, kettlebell snatch. Where's the beast push? Where's the beast press? Bring that piece at home. <laughs> because that's me. And you, you, you get my point? Now, it's been tough for me to figure out the next two until the last few weeks. Good job, good piece of uh, <clears throat> grammar there. When you watch the Olympics, you got the guys from Bulgaria, China. They're push squatters. You know, Stu McGill had this wonderful interview on. Uh, <laughs> Health Odinity, uh, <laughs> uh, where Stu uh, famously uh, quoted uh, me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Stu, Stu will tell you that uh, people, some people are just born to swamp. Guess what? I'm born to hinge. In fact, he describes this exactly. And it's funny because we're driving around and I'm going, oh, oh, it's all been there the whole time. <laughs> this one took a while, but if you look at rock climbers, and it wasn't until the Olympics I found this. They don't, they don't, they bear crawl up the walls. Mm -hmm. They squat the wall. Mm -hmm. And they squat and pull. That is, they are pull squatters. So here's the thing. If you want me to be, okay, you said, Dan, we need you to play a particular sport. What I'm going to do, if I'm coaching little Danny, is we're going to go, we're going to push and hinge and, and we're going to make you a, a, a big engine there. But then we're going to use the pull and squat to balance things so you don't get broken long term. If you're a rock climber who has to be a, a you know, you're a, a pull squatter, we're going to pull squat you to death. You're going to get 25 pull ups and a 500 kilo back front squat, overhead squat. Like that, that's my saying. And then we're going to use these to balance. This is all brand new. It's not as clear as I want it to be. But I think many, do any of you look at that chart and go, and, and say, oh, yeah, that fits me. Anyone? Sure. 